Here at the Georgia Tech Research Institute, we are developing a lot of new technologies to put in unmanned air vehicles. You see a lot of the smaller remote controlled airplanes. What we're doing is making them much more autonomous, making them smarter, putting computers in them to do the processing and putting other sensors to do all of the sensing and processing by themselves. When you go to the hobbyist level of aircraft, they're often remote controlled. As you start getting more and more autonomous, you can now program the autopilots of these aircraft to fly waypoints. So you pick different GPS locations and you program into the autopilot of the aircraft. You say go to point A, B, C, D, E, F in this order. Then we start getting to even more autonomy and that is for example searching an area and then really pushing the envelope is fully autonomous with multiple aircraft and you may tell three or four or five aircraft to operate collectively in an area but they have to figure out how to divide up the area themselves and then do their own searching in those divided regions. With our research, we're doing the highest level of unmanned vehicle autonomy and collaborative control and negotiation schemes. The way unmanned air vehicles work when they're fully autonomous is they have to use their sensors to perceive the external world, what's happening outside of them. They need to do all the sensing, the situational awareness, the situational understanding. And then once they've developed this situational understanding, they need to figure out how to respond to what they've perceived. So we've been developing a lot of uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence type algorithms to help these unmanned air vehicles make smart decisions based on limited information.